Some few months ago, we uploaded a video on this channel where we converted the generator from using AVR to using a capacitor and a bridge rectifier. And you see, some days ago, someone viewed or watched that video and uh, the person asked the question if we could use just the bridge rectifier instead of the capacitor and bridge rectifier together. And of course, I said yes. And the person for that asked that we help out with a video like that. And for that reason, we'll be shooting this video where we'll teach you how to use just a rectifier. Okay, this is a bridge rectifier. We'll be teaching you just to use how to use a bridge rectifier for your alternator instead of using an AV arrow. However, if you have watched the former video, you will have a great idea of what we are talking about. But if you haven't watched it, let's just show you a clip so you have an idea what we are talking about so this uh, video make more sense to you okay just watch the clip we'll successfully increase the capacity of the alternator by using a capacitor and a diode if you notice carefully that was giving us 272 272 what when we measured and kickstarted gentle that was giving us 272 against the 132 it gave us in the first place in the first starting before doing all this okay from that clip you will understand that that particular generator was giving us a little bit of a problem in terms of output it was giving us an output far less than what we need it was not around 130 something volts where we needed 220 to 240 volts okay so we had to use the the rectifier and the capacitor then to boost our alternator up all right but for this particular one now we are not going to do that first of all i'll put this generator on so you see what we're talking about this generator actually is working well okay the generator is working well it's producing the required voltage uh, i'm just using this particular generator because i didn't have access to a generator that had a very very bad alternator or an alternator that is very weak so just because i needed to shoot this video as i've promised the other fellow on our channel who asked i needed a generator at least just to explain a little bit how it works okay let me put on the generator You see, this generator gives out a reasonable output, at least from what our Bob gave us. It's actually a reasonable output. Let's again try with our um, a multimeter. All right. First of all, we set the multimeter to AC. Okay, and I'm going to put it at 1,000, just in case there's an overshoot from the generator. 1000 volts just in case there's an overshoot from the generator it doesn't damage the multimeter all right All right, that gave us close to 200 volt or there about, about 180 or there about from the reading. All right, let's quickly go into the practical session. This is a seven L spanner. This is your alternator, so we have access to, to the, AVRO. Okay, this is the AVRO. Okay, this is the AVRO. And okay, let me take the AVRO out. I'll take the AVRO out so we get a full understanding of what I'm talking about. 
now the avro is out right what this means now is we have to build a circuit that will be able to function as the avro using the bridge rectifier and that's what we'll be doing right away before i continue let me explain what the function of a bridge rectifier is a bridge rectifier basically is to convert alternating current to dc current or alternative voltage as the case may be to dc voltage and in this particular generator there is already a rectifier okay in this particular generator there is already a rectifier this this is a rectifier this is what is found here okay this function is basically to convert ac voltage to the dashboard here to the dashboard here so that you can at least charge your car battery uh, any other battery that uses 12 volt okay you can see it here dc 12 volt 8.3 ampere okay so what that function the function of that is to convert the ac from your ac voltage from your alternator down to ac voltage a dc voltage needed by a standard battery such as your batteries of car your battery of your tricycle as the case may be okay that is understood right now let's continue for some persons having issues with their generator that has to perhaps they have generators and the generator does not produce the required voltage probably they've changed a vro several times and each time they change the AVRO, the generator still do not give them a more, more than 150 volt or thereabout. They resort to using this rectifier here. Okay, they resort to using this rectifier here, thereby by cutting the function of the original rectifier for this generator. But for this particular experiment, this particular class, we are not going to do that. Instead, we got an external rectifier. We got this from. A, a shop for about a dollar uh less than a dollar in nigerian currency this is about um 250 naira. so this is probably half a dollar that's 50 cent right okay the rectifier we got is a kbp c3510 rectifier just in case you want to get it from the shop as well okay but if you go to our local shops here and you tell them you need a bridge rectifier it's going to be difficult for them to attend to you or to know what they will give you but if you simply tell them i need a rectifier i need a diode with four leg then they will bring something like this out all right enough of the talk let's get down to business now we are building this rectifier in the mode of an avro let me get the AVRO close by. We are building the rectifier in the mode of an AVRO. Okay, this is the positive end of the rectifier. You can see a plus sign here, it shows positive. Then, what do we do when we find the positive side? You simply do this you insert a, a clip, you clip it down. Okay, let me take this off for better explanation you clip it down okay then we need another part obviously we need to get a if yes the positive side the directly opposite here yeah, is the negative it's not written on it but that's how it works here's the positive and here's the negative and then you clip this in again And then you clip this in again okay let me take this out all right so what was successfully done so far is we've gotten the post we've identified the positive end right and we've identified the negative end these other ends are called neutral ends that's what it's called then we clip this in i will i will explain this further as we continue this class i will explain this further all right what we've done now is we've gotten right the positive side we've gotten the diet opposite side which is the negative side and the other two ends are the neutral part okay what we did with this neutral part was to connect it in form of so that it has an outlet you know this part of the avro is connected to this part of the avro 
this part of the automator rather this is it okay this is what we have here already do you get that so what we are trying to do with this what we are trying to do with this is to also build it in same direction in same way so we've done something like this right do you get this okay i'm still explaining so it will be easy for us to understand so we successfully gotten this part how did you get this part we did get this part from a bad enviro so we had to cut it out because we needed this particular plug to fit into the other part in the alternator now we successfully got in this all right having gotten that are we done building the avr now no because we've gotten this part which is this to this we've gotten this part which is this and this but we have not gotten these two ends okay we need these two ends to plug to our brush we've not gotten we can't plug these two ends like this to our brush and because of that we get we look for another wire then fit it in here okay make sure while doing this it's always tight and then do likewise for the other end okay done likewise for the other end so what we successfully done now is to build this bridge rectifier in this format are we good do we understand i guess yes so we've successfully done this we've gotten this we've gotten this we've gotten this we've gotten this right what we do next now is to fit it into the generator and see if it's going to power if the generator is going to have power let's go this we fit in here okay and then this is the positive side this is the positive side it goes to the positive side of the brush remember the positive side of the brush is always at the left and the negative side is always at the right this is the left of the generator and this is the right this is the left of the brush rather and this is the right of the brush and then we fit this in we make sure before i tape them i'll tape them after the class but before i tape them we make sure they are distant from each other so they don't touch each other okay now what do we do next we start the generator and then we check if it's going to give us the right voltage If you look carefully, you will discover that after using that rectifier diode instead of an AVR, we got a very bright bulb. The bulb became brighter. And when we use the rectifier diode instead of AVR, and of course we did now test it with our multimeter, we got a voltage of about 200 volts on the dot as against the 180 volts we got earlier with our AVR everything being constant okay so that is it from us from this class i know you've learned a lot i know you've learned a lot and i know we the how simple the practical session is you will be able to do this yourself at home if you want to get more videos like this please do where to subscribe turn on the notification bell share this video with friends and family so that we'll be motivated as well to post more videos and if you want to support us further when i mean further probably monetarily or what have you you could just do that by visiting the description uh, below. We'll drop a link there where you can simply buy us a coffee. 
uh, just do other things you think we need to move this channel forward. Of course, we need help to move the channel forward as we want to uh, probably purchase other gears needed to give you better, better, better videos and content. Till meeting our next class is goodbye from us.